18 days to election day, you know, and uh, you know, part of me feels like like we're all Danny Glover in a buddy cop movie, you know, 18 days to retirement, boys, not a worry in the world. What could happen now? You know what? Maybe I'll go sailing today, <laughs> right? Uh, yes, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Remember where we were at this point in 2016? Trump was a joke. Nobody seriously thought he'd become president, but he did. And according to POTUS comportment judge Van Jones, he's become president several more times since then. So, you know, with COVID deaths at 200,000 and rising, how is the president of the United States presently comporting himself? Jesus Christ, what is this? It, it looks like he's boxing a ghost, right? I love how Trump misses the absurdity of him dancing to a gay disco anthem at a Make America Great Again rally, right? You know what it is, all he cares about is the phrase young man. That's his message. He's identifying as the young man. Trump thinks his cocktail of roids and Regeneron is the fountain of youth. And he's gonna keep like boxing ghosts to a ditty about shower boys until everyone gets the message that he's a sprightly whippersnapper and Joe Biden is old. Because remember, in Trump world, old equals bad. As demonstrated by the president's sophisticated memes about his opponent. <sighs> so welcome to the surreal stage of this election, you guys. You know, and Trump's taking his Village People Coachella Festival to every swing state, throwing plague rags out to the crowd like some kind of infectious Oprah. You get the virus, hey, you get the virus. It's right under your seat. Now just reach under there, you'll get it. Ah. And of course, it wouldn't be a Trump event without some crass, unwarranted advances toward women. Suburban women, will you please like me? Remember? Please. Please. Wow, he said please? Who even is this? <laughs> you know what it is, guys? It's not just pathetic. It's, um, it's, just, it's just so on the nose, right? There's no art to it. In fact, everything I'm seeing of the Republican strategy lately, it, it's on the same level of like half acidness. Like those fake ballot boxes the GOP scattered around California hoping to fool us, right? Well, this looks like the place to put my ballot. No doubt about it. And did you see, they're also trying to rope in old black rhymers to endorse Trump's platinum plan for black America. Platinum? They think they can just call something platinum. Black people are gonna be so excited, you know. Oh, thanks for this platinum, boss. This shows some good platinum. You see what boss gave me? Boss gave me some platinum here. Mama little baby look platinum, platinum. Mama little baby look platinum plan. Ice Cube on the Twitter with the platinum, platinum. Ice Cube on the Twitter with the platinum plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. I got, I got carried away. I promise you I won't do that again. Okay, I got one more. <laughs> hey, Candace Owens, where is you going? I was going home for that platinum plan. Sorry, I officially apologize to each and every one of you. <laughs> ah, I'm so disappointed in you, GOP. You used to be good at the dark arts. The Willie Horton ad, Mwah. two chef's kisses, ended Dukakis with a 30 second spot. That was some brilliant racist marketing. And the swift boating of Vietnam veteran John Kerry by Vietnam veterans. Oh, oh, that was the kind of like LeBron level, triple double, end of the game, three pointer, nothing but net type of shit you guys used to do all the time. What happened to you? You needed an October surprise and this is what you came up with? Biden's emails? You guys aren't even trying. In the meantime, while you're busy scrambling after black voters who are never gonna vote for you, and suburban women who have already left you, and Californians who don't know the difference between a ballot box and a trash can with a post-it note on it, you're forgetting your most reliable voting block. Seniors are now backing Biden over Trump. Look at that margin there, 62 to 35%. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, can this be true? <laughs> oh shit, they pimped out their golf carts. They're serious. Guys, I've said it a thousand times. You can't shit on the cocoon boat. 
old white people are the beating, congested heart of the Republican Party. Trump won Florida seniors by 17 points last time. And then, stable genius that he is, he responded to a global pandemic with his visionary, let old people die of the coronavirus, coronavirus policy. Oh, God. No, I, I don't want to get too excited, you know. Those are just national polls. In the battleground state of Florida, the candidate who's not actively killing seniors is still running neck and neck with the candidate who is. So I'm still nervous. I am. Okay, baby boomers, I'm counting on you to save the country. Black women can't do it every time. If you pull this off, I promise, I'll, I'll, I'll make some calls. I know a few Gen Zs. I can try to get, okay, boomer, retired. Okay, boomer? Mm -hmm.